Sometimes people are overconfident because they don't know what they don't know. What do you not know about SQL Server that you wish you knew more about? One of the things that's tough is there's only so many hours in the day and I want to know everything. Like maybe a decade ago, yeah, it's probably about a little shorter than maybe like eight, nine years ago, I made the decision to let go of availability groups. I think the SQL Server availability groups are amazing. They're fantastic. They're so powerful. But also at the same time, they had gotten so complex that it was really hard for one person to know everything that they would want to know just about availability groups, let alone things like the query processor or index tuning or memory tuning or anything like that. So I had to make tough decisions and I said, I'm going to give up availability groups, which also meant that I was not going to learn PowerShell. I wasn't going to learn how to do cluster troubleshooting or read the error logs with PowerShell. If I could pick one thing that I wish I could do, it would that I wish that I could know better, it would either be SQL Server availability groups because I think they're really cool, or I wish that I could read C. I'm not saying that I wish I could program in C. I wish that I knew more about reading C so that I could do a better job of reading the source code for, for uh, databases, for open source databases, for example. Um, I would love, love to explore that in, in more depth. But you know, at the end of the day, they're especially, it's 1.38 p.m. and I have a highball in my hand. And when I say things like the end of the day, you should be careful about who you take advice from there. At the end of the day, there's other stuff that I want to do. Although in my defense, it's a Saturday. It's not, I'm, I'm, I, am, I guess I'm technically working on a Saturday. Um, but there's other stuff that I want to do in life, so I, I make that decision to draw the line somewhere. And then at the end of that time, I just go, okay, I, I can't learn any more about that stuff. But either AGs or uh, reading C would be the big ones. There are huge, I have a pile up stack of books that I want to learn or want to uh, read. Um, there's a great book on my bookshelf uh, about what happens to China as their economy and government changes. That's the next thing that I want to learn just personally. It was a brilliant book. I wish I could remember the author's name. I'll, I'll put it on a future webcast.